Hi, window watchers. I just got through making a picture with a piece of potato. And this is what it turned out to be. Oh, it isn't anything in particular. It's just kind of some designing. But this is what we're going to do today. We're going to make pictures. Oh, probably not like this one, but something that you could make like this out of a, out of a potato. And it's called potato printing. And I have the things ready right here. And I'm going to tell you just how you can do it. I have a set of paints and some paper to print on and a potato and a knife. Now we'll just lay these things right over here for now because first of all we want to talk just a little bit about the paint. Now the first thing you should do whether or not you're going to make paint to use for printing or whether you're going to use this paint just to paint a picture with, whenever you start to paint there's something that you should do that will help you and that's this. Dip your brush into a little jar or glass of water, whatever you have, and put a drop on each one of the little color plates in the box. Just a drop of water right in the middle, and then put another drop in the next one, and another drop in the next one, and all the way down the line. Now, do you know why I do this? Well, it's this. Putting the water on before you get ready to paint Let's the water soak into the paint just a little bit. And then by the time you are ready to use these different colors, the paint has soaked up some of this water and you can get a lot more paint on your brush. So that's what we've done right now. And now we might as well take and mix up some paint that we're going to be using when we do our printing with potatoes. You can use any colors you want to. I think I'll use a red for one of them. And we don't need a lot of water. The reason that we're mixing the paint before we do any cutting at all on the potato is because by the time we get around to using this paint again that we're going to mix up right here in the tray, some of the water will have evaporated and the paint will be a little thicker. And that's what we need as thick a paint as possible to print with. So we'll just mix up some right here. Here's one color and then I'll wash off the brush and mix up another color, maybe a black. Put a, some black over here like this so that we have two different colors. We get a lot of paint and not so much water. So we'll put it all in there like that. And then we can rinse off the brush and, or leave it right there in the jar and set this aside and go to our potato and our knife. Now I have some some scratch paper right here that I'm going to put down and put my potato on that I can put all the cuttings on. Now I have a pocket knife right here that I have to open up. You can use a pocket knife or you can use one of your mother's paring knives. But whatever kind of a knife you, sh you use, you should remember to be very, very careful of it. A knife, you know, is something very sharp and it's very easy to cut your fingers with as well as anything else. So when you do use it, be very very careful. And the first thing we'll do is just cut the potato right in half. Stick the knife in and cut it right in two. There's one cut there, another one here, right straight through it. So that now the potato is in two halves, isn't it? One of these halves we're going to carve up in a certain way and we're going to carve the other half in another different way. And the first one, I'll just lay this one over here to the side and we'll do it one way the first time. We can draw a pattern, draw whatever it is we want to print, an outline of it right on the potato. Just like this. Let's see, what shall we draw on top of here? Well, what about a paw? You know, a paw has, has some toes on it. Three. Let's have this paw have three toes on it. And beneath the toes, on a paw, is the heel or the pad that comes down behind it, like this. And there it is. So with a crayon or paint, or even a pencil, I think you could outline whatever it would be that, that we want to cut out and put it right here on the half of the potato. And then with our knife, we cut all around whatever it is that we've drawn on there. Cut around it and we cut away the white part. 
and we do that just like this. You can cut a line right straight across the top of these toes, first of all, down into the potato, so that it goes right down into the side. See? And then slice across the potato, so that this one piece right here comes right out like that. And then there's a ridge there. See? This part is going to stand up, and the white part is going to be cut away. Now then we can go around the toes like this and cut down. Just slice that little piece out of there and then pick it right out with our fingers. Well, that's not going to come too easily, so we'll have to recut this line. Now it should come out. There it is. Now we have this corner out. We have to cut between the toes, too, because there was some white between the toes. So we'll just cut down, down, and with our knife, slice under it. And then we can just lift these little pieces out, put them right here on our scratch paper. There we are, and we cut around this toe here, down in between it. Be very careful of this knife all the time. Now you don't have to press too hard or cut too fast, just take your time and be very, very careful when you're using your knife. Then around the last toe, right over here, we might as well make this slip right along this heel part of the picture that we've drawn on there. Slice it off and then pick this one right off there like that. Here's a little corner that didn't come off, and now it's off. So we have holes right between all the toes there. We don't need this little piece over here on the end. So we'll cut that piece off too. There we are. Now then, comes the part of getting the piece a white potato out from right here. So we can make a slanting cut. Cut once this way and then in the other direction. And now, see, you can let the potato right out of there. So that all we have left are these three toes that are sticking up. See how they're sticking up from the rest of the potato? There. They're raised up above the place we sliced off right here. Then we can turn it around and start working on the heel. We can cut right around the heel of the paw that we're, that we're making to print, down into the potato all the way around it, and then slicing this off. Now watch your fingers going around the corners. Knives slip sometime and it would be better, much better to have them slip going away from you than towards you. There we are. And now, all we have left standing up here is the part that we want to print. Now, it's already colored a little bit, but we want to take the paint that we mixed up before right here. And now mine, I see, has dried out so that it's almost too dry. It's very, very thick. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of water to it like this, mix it up some more. And then I'm going to lay the potato with the part that I want to print, this part right here, right down in the paint like that. Press it around so that when we pick it up and wipe some of the extra paint off with our brush, this is what we have left. Paint on the part that we want to print. And then we can take our paper, right here like this, take the potato and put it right down on top and press it down and lift it up, and there's our print. Now you see this little place right here? This is the paper showing through. Somewhere on this part of the potato that we cut out, there wasn't any paint. So we'll go back to the potato again, and paint it on with our brush this time, so that we make sure that there is paint all over it. There. Now we'll try and make another one. Maybe we can make a regular path of footprints along here. There's one, and here's one, and just a corner of one here at the top. It looks almost like somebody's been walking right across the paper. Sometimes you can make several prints with just by just applying the paint one time and one time only. But you see, the paint isn't as dark on this one as it is on one of the first ones that we made. But you can, you can get all oh, several different effects that way by using the 
paint that you put on over and over again. Well, then there's another, another way that we can do potato printing. I can take one of these little slices that I've cut off here and dip it right in the paint so that I have paint along one of the ends. There, you see? Put it down on the paper and it makes a mark too. I'll tell you what, why don't we make a flower down here? If I put two of these prints together, like this, that can be the stem. One over here can be a leaf that's coming off the side. And then I can go back to my potato and cut it up, making different shapes out of part of it. Here's one that's half round on the end. See, it's straight across here, and half round. Well, I could use that for a petal on the flower. In fact, why don't I use that for the petal on the flower? I'll put some some of the paint right on this end like that. And go right over here. Press it down. And there are the petals on the flower. See how they keep getting lighter and lighter if I don't put paint on them again? But it makes a very interesting thing. Then we can cut this in half. Like that. Maybe use a different color this time. more paint on it. Now if you're using the paint that I'm using, it's going to be alright because it's, a, it's um, a darker color than the one that I used before. But if you're going, to, if you were first using a red and then you wanted to use some yellow, you should wash the red off of the piece of potato or else cut another piece of potato. Otherwise, you know, the colors are all, will all run together. Well, we'll put this down somewhere. Maybe this is a toadstool. Maybe it's growing another toadstool right there. And then we can put a stem on this toadstool too with the piece that we cut before. We can cut all sorts of different kinds of shapes out of here like this and just make all sorts of things. You can cut regular leaves that you, right, you want to take a leaf and put a pin a leaf right on here and draw around it and then cut away the outside like we did when we were making the paw and you'd have a perfect outline of a certain kind of leaf. And then paint the leaf like we did with the paw and press it down on there. And there you have your leaf again. And it looks sometimes, the potato seeps through, the water in the potato seeps through, and it looks like there's little veins running through the leaf. You might want to get a whole lot of white paper and make a little print of something up in each corner and you can use it for stationery. You, you can even put little prints on the backs of envelopes if you'd like. And you know, if you use texto paint instead of plain ordinary water paint, you can put prints with these potatoes on the corners of material and use them for napkins or handkerchiefs or even tablecloths if you use almost a whole potato. Well, I hope you have fun working with your potato printing. I know I'm going to, and do I. <laughs>